Welcome to a new vlog! So I didn't vlog last week but I decided to maybe give it a go this week. I don't know why but I just felt like it so I'm gonna do it. Uh, I got back from work way way too early, I mean, than usual just because I don't feel great. I mean my migraine turned into a headache so now it's okay but I still feel like weak kind of thing but that's not the point here so I got back home I have some food waiting for me here so I have some salads and corn I have bread here toasted bread and I have hummus here and my water over there and I think I'm gonna eat and watch some episode of Kilmo Girl so I'm re-watching everything actually and I'm on season one episode three apparently there is a new episode of the immortal instrument that's a thing. No, Shadow Hunters, the Immortal Instruments, kind of thing, whatever. In season 3B or whatever. I don't even know why you would call a season 3B. Never mind. And I was thinking about watching the show. And I haven't read the book, so I don't know if that's a good idea. Or maybe I should read the first book before like watching the show. Or I don't know. Please let me know, should I watch the show and then read or read first and watch the show? What's the best kind of thing? Whatever, you know what I mean? It's not like it's the most important subject here, but whatever. So I'm gonna do that and then I'm maybe gonna try to read a bit. Like yesterday I started um, Six of Crows by Lee Bardugo. So hashtag HP uh, for the Howling Pack and I'm buddy reading the book with Anna Francesca and I finished part one, so I'm on page 100 and I also started uh, The Gilded Wolves by, don't ask me to say her name, I've read part one as well, so I'm on page like 58, 59 something, so hashtag HP um, Paris, yeah. I still uh, have to read News of Nightmares uh, part one for hashtag HP <laughs> whatever uh, so I'm gonna do that here are all the books like see this is my corner and all the books are over there will you be able to see them yep 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 you see them so there you have my six of crows uh, the gilded walls and uh, muse of nightmares oh the zoom is quite cool here hmm interesting my pillows, there, coming back. <laughs> Having fun with stupid stuff, whatever. So yeah, I will be eating now and then watching something and then reading maybe, I don't know. Edit a video. I have so many videos I need to edit, like at least eight videos I need to edit. So maybe I will try to do that and then read tonight and relax. We'll see. It's Currently 2.30, so hope you're good! I think this vlog was bad because I didn't give you any kind of update this week I believe so and sorry if my voice is kind of weird like not my accent my accent will always forever be weird but I mean I feel sick I have like 
fever etc etc but it's still okay and yeah don't mind my face or whatever but i have here some food so i have water green tea hummus and toasted bread so i'm gonna eat and talk to you that may be kind of thing it's gonna be a mess but it's always a mess with me and then after i'm gonna have a dessert so i wanted to say that i read uh, part two of six of crows so chapter like till chapter uh, 16 and um i'm loving it like this is a reread so i really love kaz i love inesh i love nina i love jesper i love matthias i love everything about that word and um I don't know how to explain that but I'm in love with that word I'm in love with the characters from that book like I love the characters from the Grishaverse and King of Scars but not as much as I love the dynamic that we have in Six of Crows and yeah I don't know how to explain that but everything seem perfect in Six of Crows like super well written super well done and the dynamic and the atmosphere and the rhythm everything like everything sound perfect in Six of Crows so I'm absolutely in love with it and it really makes me want to get that no mourners no funerals tattoo and I will get it I swear I will get it one day I still need to find the font I want and where I want and etc etc and yeah but loving that book I don't know if you know what Six of Crows is but you probably know like this is a gang some misfits teenagers uh, working together and they're going on some kind of heist to gain like feel a lot of money it is so much more than that because even if they're going on the highest it's so character driven more than plot driven even if lots of stuff happened don't get me wrong but they all like different you have someone who's very like good with shooting there is one that you cannot hear because she's like so silent she's like very good spy like the perfect spy you have the one who is really brainy and dark then you have a character that's sarcastic and then you have one that only wants to kill another character etc etc like the characters are just amazing and I'm in love with it but yeah and it is so weird because I'm also like reading uh, The Gilded Wolves by Roshani Shokshi and I read like the five first chapters so like 60 pages sorry and um, I'm a bit confused because it's so weird that I'm reading it at the same time than the six of crows because it really gives me that six of crows vibes because of the highs etc but at the same time I have some da Vinci code vibes in it as well because of the artifact they have to find but also all the objects uh, you know uh, in the very beginning so they're like in a museum or not really in a museum but selling stuff to other big families big ga not gangs but you know what I mean and yeah houses let's call them houses like house Targaryen house Stark blah 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 and they like selling stuff and with high value obviously and yeah I don't know it gives me that m vibes of six of crows meets kind of Da Vinci Code so I'm liking it but I'm actually quite a bit confused at the very beginning but I've read only like 60 pages right yeah 58 pages so I will continue with that yeah today I'm gonna try to do that but I'm also I'm sick I hate being sick I mean who loves being sick but whatever and yeah I'm gonna eat and yeah maybe try to upload a video today or whatever I have like I had need to go to the post office there is something waiting for me at the post office but also uh, at the press shop there is a package for Mooney <laughs> waiting there and then there is one other package waiting for me or maybe a second one will come today so I have like four unboxings I need to film soon but I, I'm not gonna do that today today I don't wanna wear any makeup and I don't wanna fake that I feel okay you know I know people say when you're filming recording you are acting up oh, when is coming 
<laughs> Hello, baby boo. Hello. Mommy's eating, so you can always go on the bed. You could cry. You could cry. But, um, she's gonna go on her bed. So, I was saying, no, you're not actually acting when you're filming. So, sometimes you will see in my videos, I'm so calm and like I don't have any kind of motivations or whatever it's just because sometimes I really I really feel tired and most of the time when I have energy this is 100% me plus 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 you know what I mean like you're not acting you're being yourself but not at 100% like 200% if that makes any sense but whatever you're not here to hear me talking about that okay uh, oh, there is something on the camera. Let me touch your walls. <laughs> okay, so please don't judge my face. Like, I still have some kind of cold, whatever. My nose is like, never mind. That's not something that interests you. But I just wanted to say that today is Friday. And uh, I just watched like lots of videos. Uh, I mean, yesterday as well and today as well. And I have only one video left on my watch later youtube list kind of thing and it is actually a tag i need to film so i'm so happy about it i caught up on everything but obviously this list is not gonna stay empty for a few days like in a few hours i'm gonna have like plenty of videos to watch again i still need to find a way to stop myself from adding videos in my watch later because once once they're there, I have to watch them, if you know what I mean. So that's that's not okay, because I could do other stuff as well, but I feel bad for not watching everyone's videos, and that, I mean, I'm only human. But whatever, that's not something that interests you, maybe not. I just wanted to, uh, yeah, Muni is over there, in case you want to catch up. I'm waiting on a box for her, let me check on the website if it's on its way. No not at all i don't know how come it was supposed to arrive yesterday and it hasn't left the warehouse yet so we'll see about that later today maybe i will call the lady to see what's happening because i want that box but you know yesterday and today i took a few days off from work you know um because i did a lot of overtime and obviously now that i have time to film all my unboxings and other videos first i'm sick and second every box is fucking late like life is so fucked up sometimes but what can you do? But I just want to say that I, I keep saying I just wanted to say no. I, I have stuff to say and I have here. Huh, I, I don't know how I'm going to do that. But I got two boxes here. One is <laughs> backwards, but whatever. Uh, magic chest. And I believe the other one is actually uh, Geek Gear. So let me just put you down so I can open it and check it. Because apparently the, there is a new kind of like design or whatever for the box so i am curious okay that was okay just wait so i can put you down can you see me yeah what a beautiful angle oops so this is a magic chest i believe this is the february one i think and i believe i know what the book is and i'm so so fucking excited about it and even the next book that's coming in that book i think it's gonna be amazing she's doing such a great job in picking books that nobody nobody wow nobody else did and this one amazing and also i told you that i subscribe to a new animal lovers um box that will come i believe end of march so keep your eyes on that but also i subscribe to another box wicked creatures because the logo the symbol is actually a wolf and when you go on the website she says join the pack so i was like okay buying but this is a us company this is the april box will actually be the first one that she will like send to everyone as a monthly box because she did like throne of glass special box and also i believe another one wicked king i think um but yeah all the links will be down below if you want to check it so yeah there is a new box coming and apparently this is a box for it's it's gonna be like YA fantasy but more like adultish YA or more adultish 
fantasy if you see what i mean yeah and i bought another box as well but that's not the monthly bookish box description i mean it could be but i just bought one just to try and to see if i will continue every now and then yeah i bought too many boxes i know it's so bad and okay let's just open this one to see if it's good gear i think it is so i love it but actually it's already open so i don't know how come so i'm gonna close it i saw something but i don't want to know more about it i love the box um it doesn't scream like slithering anymore but it says here handmade with love i love the box like it's super simple and it smells so good i just it smells so good like not vanilla but it smells so good and there is some kind of white powder coming out of it oh yeah reading wise uh, so i've read yesterday the gilded walls and i i believe i've read part two and three let me check on the goodreads page i believe i have read part two and three yeah so i have five not four five six left i have 140 pages left so 140 pages left so i will probably be done with that book today so far it's really good like at the beginning i really had that six of crows vibes and da vinci code vibes but now it's more like a fantasy da vinci code vibes and less of six of crows even if to be honest like some connections between the characters are the same than in six of crows and that could be just a coincidence but i feel like okay it's not spoilery but let's say that in book a you have an animal that's uh, i don't know super powerful that has some kind of magic whatever and has a master who is in love with cards let's say that just i haven't read any books like that but just imagine it then in book B, you have another kind of animals with specific, like, with some magic, who also has a master who is a fan of cards. Maybe it's gonna be tarot, and in the first one, it's gonna be like poker card, you know, like a regular card, etc. But the similitudes are like this in the very beginning. I mean, I felt that way. But it's quite different now. I love the characters so much. I love the vibes. I love the atmosphere i love it it is quite fast paced but at the same time it's more like character driven so i feel like at that point it joined six of crows but i don't like to compare another book to six of crows because six of crows is so beloved and so hyped etc it's so good i loved it but i cannot compare other books to very hyped books if that makes any sense but it's really good so far i loved it and I love like the twist etc in it so the plot it's kind of predictable because I mean heist etc etc so it's kind of predictable you know when you make some kind of um, deal with people etc etc so it's kind of predi well, predictable but still very enjoyable thanks to the characters because if you take off the characters and you just put other kind of characters more bl like bland or whatever it wouldn't be the same but that's the case so for every single book don't listen to me sometimes i just don't make any sense but yeah that's it and six of crows i have read part two but i told you that so i'm waiting on anna francesca to read the second part so we can talk about it and i can continue with it and i was thinking about starting muse of nightmares once the gilded walls uh, will be done I maybe try to finish it this weekend but i don't think it's gonna happen maybe it could happen because i have like on um, wednesday i'm gonna start a buddy read with dana from Peraline and the light between words which is it sounds amazing like compared to narnia i'm trash for it so yeah and yeah just a little note to all my international booktubers friends like when i started booktube i you can see my videos like they cut every 10 20 seconds or whatever and now as you can see like i sometimes don't cut anything for one minute that's just because okay maybe i'm learning english i'm continuing learning english kind of thing but that's also because i became more confident in my way of speaking if that makes any sense because i know that i'm not talking to people who will judge me about my accent, about my mistakes, etc. So I just keep talking whenever like I feel talking, if that makes any sense. I don't like try to overthink everything and try to put like 
to use the perfect adjective or whatever so just be yourself too and you will get better and better i'm not like the best i'm not getting better i'm not like whatever but i'm improving very slowly but still i'm improving and i think that i have fever because what i'm saying doesn't make any sense or maybe it does but i don't understand it i don't know and i don't know why i keep talking with my hands like but yeah it's almost noon so i'm thinking about maybe eating something and doing my laundry and yeah reading a bit so that's three what did i say eating reading laundry and oh i want to go on pinterest i need inspiration for my pictures your girl is bad at bookstagram and i want to get better and i don't know what to do to get better and i know we all critic ourselves harder harsher than we will like critic other people but yeah so okay i'm gonna do everything that i just said i was about to do and also there is like a lot lot of unboxing coming like yeah i hope you will enjoy them talk to you later i hope you're good and uh, yeah happy howling <laughs> I have fever. <laughs> okay, so a little update wolves. I finished the Gilded Wolves and I think I'm gonna give it three stars, like a high three stars, like three and a half, almost four, just because I love that ending. I love some interactions between the characters, but at some point, like, that's money, never mind. I was lost not because I was confused but just because I wasn't like interested in it so it kind of like I don't know it was good then I don't know then good then I don't know so I feel like quite confused by it I love the story I loved the characters and I love that ending some stuff at the end happened I didn't expect them to happen and yeah I'm a bit confused. I'm still gonna compare it to uh, Six of Crows at some point and I know people are like don't do that, don't do that, but I I, I mean I'm sorry. <laughs> but yeah, as I just finished the book, I deserve a candy so I'm gonna try some candy. I don't have many left but I have some. I'm so scared to try these but let's do it. No, doesn't seem like something I'm gonna like. <laughs> Oh no, just the texture of it. Oh no, I think I don't like marshmallows. That's not for you. No, I don't like marshmallows. Sorry, this is a fail. <laughs> What's that? Keep shining. So here, I don't even know if that's chocolate or something. Oh, you're interested in that, but you cannot have chocolate. Yeah, it's chocolate. And it looks like this. Hmm. Watch up, Mooney. Come here. Say hello. Those candies are not for you. They're good for puppies. It's good. It actually tastes like... Uh, Milky Ways? Is it Milky Way or Milky Ways? Whatever, you got me. Hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Not bad. I don't know that actually. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. It's gonna be a four stars. So I'm gonna put four stars here. And um, what's that? It's bull stuff like? Snowball? Zero. <laughs> I really didn't like it. I'm gonna try the Twix. I have it Twix left, then I'm gonna stop. Because we don't want too much sugar in our body, in our system, in our whatever. Mmm, corn food. Mmm, mmm, mmm. It's good, not my favorite, but it's good. It's gonna be a three stars because I love the texture, I love the chocolate, I love the biscuit, but still caramel, too sticky for my liking. <laughs> but yeah, 
So I have like one, two, three, four, five, six candies left. Like I have so much left, but that will be in another vlog or maybe tomorrow. I don't know, but for now I'm gonna chill a bit on booktube and catch up with some videos. So whoops, talk to you later. Hello wolves, just a little update on what I did and I'm gonna show you. It is a mess. So, okay, so I filmed two unboxing and I'm super white. Never mind, I filmed uh, two unboxings and I filmed a video about all the books, popular books I will probably never pick up. And then I saw it Mooney in a house, Hogwarts house so hopefully you will enjoy those videos i still feel kind of sick but it's okay you can hear it like i'm talking normally kind of thing with my normal regular horrible accent kind of whatever uh i have fever though <laughs> but uh, yeah and i took a few pictures because my feet started to be like very busy and i love very not busy pictures that's what I did, so now I'm gonna clean up the mess, take off my makeup, maybe edit a video and upload it. No, I don't wanna upload today. Today I'm gonna read, I think. I'm gonna upload probably a video on Sunday night, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. <laughs> oh my gosh, I have so many videos. Why do I keep filming videos when I already have videos? And I already have videos filmed, but I wanna refilm them because I didn't have like the light ring at that point and I didn't have the same setup so I want to refilm them that's why you should like pre-film your videos but not too early either because you might change things and don't want to see the old things anymore on your channel can I think oh whatever I'm just keeping 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 I'm just keep I'm tired did I tell you that I finished the Gilded Wolves? Yes, I did. Oh yeah, candy. Let's try a candy. Ugh. I tried to take pictures with me on the pictures, you know what I mean? And oh, sorry. And it just came out horrible. I have the box here. Let's pick a candy. We'll see which one it is. And it is such a weird light over here. But whatever. Let's try this one for once. What's that actually? Chocolate? Peppermint bark? Mm, mm, mm. Chocolate and peppermint. Oh, just the smell. Like, how can you mix peppermint and chocolate? No. No. You cannot mix chocolate and peppermint. No. No, I don't like it. Let's try this. What's that? Crispity, crunchity, peanut buttery. So we're gonna try this one. Hopefully it will get, be better. Looks like this. Normal chocolate. Mmm. Mmm. It is like very dry. Peanut butter. It's good. It's good. Oh, also I don't want to clean this mess. But I'm gonna have to. So I'm gonna clean this mess. So I did some pictures. I just ate chocolate, but I haven't had breakfast this morning. And it is actually 2 p.m., 2.15. So I will probably do that and take off that makeup because I feel like it. I'm super white. You know, like this. And then you put here, I'm still learning how to use that uh, ring light, you know. But I look super white. Why do I look super white? I'm sick and I put makeup. I want to edit my videos though So tomorrow I don't have to edit them for the week. I can get relaxed, but I need to relax now and I need to eat also You know what? My life is so complicated I'm just gonna clean up the mess here and then I will see what I will be doing But wolves, hope you're good. Hope that you will feel better than I do and I'm a bit crazy, but whatever fever and yeah Okay, I will do that. Yeah. Okay. What are you reading? Like, whatever. Talk to you later.
folks it's me again i think i'm gonna finish the vlog here and wrap it up because i'm not gonna do anything else interesting hi Mooney. say hello yeah i'm just gonna finish editing some videos maybe try to edit this vlog as well maybe some reading and yeah going to my grandma and my grandpa uh so my grandparents well done sasha i just uh published a picture on bookstagram as well and yeah that's pretty much it actually my life was i don't know hello what's up baby boo you good yeah oh who's your baby yeah your baby yeah you good baby watch watch oh you sleepy puppy you sleepy puppy hmm? Mm. You like that? But yeah, so I'm just gonna chill with Mooney here. Maybe do some reading, editing. <laughs> but yeah, nothing interesting. So I'm not gonna keep you longer here. Yeah. Thank you for watching this vlog at least. I hope you enjoyed it a bit. Let me know what you did this week. Talk to me in the comment as usual. Oh, she's just a cute Oh, but yeah thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed it please don't forget to subscribe to be a part of the pack before you're leaving give this video a thumbs up as usual if you liked it like i keep saying the exact same thing every single time but you know till next time wolves take care and bye